Hi everyone. In this video we will be talking about the cryptocurrency internet computer, currently it is ranked 33. Here are some details about the cryptocurrency. The internet computer is the world's first blockchain that runs at web speed with unbounded capacity. It also represents the third major blockchain innovation, alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum a blockchain computer that scales smart contract computation and data, runs them at web speed, processes and stores data efficiently, and provides powerful software frameworks to developers. By making this possible, the internet computer enables the complete reimagination of software providing a revolutionary new way to build tokenized internet services, pan-industry platforms, decentralized financial systems, and even traditional enterprise systems and websites. The project was founded in October 2016 by Dominic Williams, and attracted notable interest from the crypto community. Tfinity raised a total of $121 million from contributors such as Andreessen Horowitz, Polychain Capital, SV Angel, Aspect Ventures, Electric Capital, ZeroX, Scalar Capital, and Multicoin Capital, and several notable early Ethereum supporters. In 2018, over 50,000 registered participants received ICP utility tokens in an airdrop. On December 18, 2020, Tfinity launched the alpha mainnet of the internet computer. In a final step towards decentralization, on May 10, 2021, Tfinity launched the internet computer into the public domain. This major milestone means that the internet now functions as a decentralized global computer marked by the release of all of the internet computer's source code into the public domain as well as ICP utility token allowing tens of thousands of community members to govern the internet computer network. Currently, many sources have predicted the cryptocurrency to be around 20 to 50x by the year 2024 to 2025. The reason for these predictions is because they are based on the Bitcoin stock to flow model, where Bitcoin is predicted to be around $350,000 per Bitcoin. This is also a confluence with Bitcoin's supply almost being minted, allowing people and banks and large wealthy individuals to see Bitcoin as an asset that is exponential, with a crazy bullish decentralized future. Cryptocurrencies previously have had mass adoption, and they tend to follow a cycle of when Bitcoin's supply tends to half every three to four years on average, from analyzing previous data. People tend to ask whether cryptocurrencies will ever be regulated. And over time we will potentially see more industries and companies, such as banks slowly incorporating cryptocurrency investing, which is what we are currently seeing from many banks introducing large fund individuals to Bitcoin investing, and other cryptocurrencies too. Some countries such as China have restricted and banned ICOs back in 2017 and ended up cracking down on any cryptocurrency trading, and making a ban on a few foreign exchanges. Another problem with cryptocurrencies at the moment is they are extremely volatile. And when you compare them to other asset classes, there is no other market like the cryptocurrency market, many individuals would rather put their money into a different asset class that is not extremely volatile like cryptocurrency, as currently many stocks or commodities do not move as quick as crypto, allowing for long-term investors to have a peace of mind when investing. Cryptocurrencies tend to make new millionaires every day, but at the same time, has a lot of risk and hacks that do take place as well. Many individuals that have invested in this cryptocurrency coin aim to be long-term investors. This is seen as a very good way to maximize gains within the cryptocurrency space. If you look at the history of the coin, you will notice that the price tends to increase gradually over time. This shows us that the retracements or corrections over time are not seen as something major. The current circulating supply of the cryptocurrency is still not at 100%. This shows that there are still tokens yet to be released out to the public. This tends to be an approximation and not an exact number. Therefore we understand that there are some of the cryptocurrency being held by the general public. The total supply is defined as being the total number of coins that are in existence at the minute. In order to calculate this you would need to minus any coins that have been verifiably burned. When we see the circulating supply reach the max, 
there will officially be fewer or no more coins available on the market for us as individuals to buy. This tends to lead to a deflationary condition, also known as a 0% inflation rate. A average circulating supply that we tend to see most, if not all cryptocurrencies have is between 60 million to 150 million, as this is classed as a good circulating supply within the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Before investing in a cryptocurrency, make sure you have a look at their circulating supply. As we tend to have a better performance with a smaller circulating supply cryptocurrency. Many credible sources claim this cryptocurrency would be predicted at 20 to 50x the current price between the years 2024 and 2025. These predictions tend to play out since over the years. As the cryptocurrency grows and develops, many new individuals will be introduced and invest. Many individuals would never see Bitcoin ever reach $64,000, yet it ended up doing that in a quick manner. It has also been said that there is no asset return like Bitcoin. This is something that is interesting, as there has not been many assets that have outperformed this cryptocurrency at this rate. And as we progress more into future cycles we will see many altcoins, such as the one we are covering today start to grow exponentially as time goes on. Therefore the saying that early investors really make an incredible return compared to the individuals that invest recently. There are a few ways to get involved into your desired cryptocurrencies over the long run. This is done by something called dollar cost averaging. This means that you buy more of the token as time progresses. This is an interesting concept because it allows you to constantly be topping up your holdings, without the need of constantly checking the price or manually buying the cryptocurrency. This is a very handy tool for many individuals, and we tend to see some exchanges having this feature, where you can buy more of the token every day, every week, or even every month. Therefore depending on what cryptocurrency you would like to invest into, you will be investing a certain allocation that you select. This is ideal for the individuals that have a part-time or full-time job, that just want to set a plan and schedule for their investments in the long run. Since we have seen through data and charts that in the long run, since most cryptocurrencies have exponential growth. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video as it goes through many key aspects that help you understand new concepts, and to obviously have a brief understanding on the cryptocurrency covered today. The future looks bright for cryptocurrency, and many forums have stated that cryptocurrencies as a whole will grow taking over banks and any financial institution that there currently is in place as of now. Therefore, Make sure you do your own research as these videos are not financial advice but help guide you in the right direction, in order to find yourselves insane gems that may grow exponentially over time. The cryptocurrency covered in this video has a fairly small market cap compared to the giants, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. This basically means that they have more space for them to grow and have more potential compared to the large cap giants. Since this channel attempts to focus on cryptocurrencies that are still small, or in their early stages, so you can do your own research, and see whether it may be a viable investment to make for yourself. In the description below, I have listed a free sign-up bonus for Crypto.com, which gives you a $25 just for signing up. Also a Coinbase sign-up link, which also gives you free surveys, which can offer up to $50 in free crypto. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed, and at the same time learnt a lot more about the cryptocurrency, and the cryptocurrency space. There will be more videos on upcoming cryptocurrency gems that you would not want to miss out on. Comment down below in the description giving a suggestion on the next cryptocurrency you would like to see featured in this channel. Have a safe journey investing!